Just like Halo 2, I'm also a big fan of Halo 1. Although I think the multiplayer of Halo 2 is better, there are a lot more people playing Halo 1, so I thought I'd also make a video explaining how to get the multiplayer working again on that, and how to get it working modern resolutions, because as you know, Halo 1 is a lot older of a game than Halo 2, with it being made before HD was really a thing. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want, obviously, is an installation of Halo 1 on your computer. Now whether it's just Halo PC or Halo Custom Edition, doesn't really matter. Uh, all that changes is which file you go to download from the Bungie site, which is uh, after the GameSpy servers went down, Bungie was actually kind enough to uh, release an official update for the game, which uh, fixes the multiplayer on it, even though they're not responsible for it anymore because, you know, they're no longer par a part of Microsoft. But, uh, you know, so just go to this link here, I'll put it in the description. It's on the Bungie forums. It's a. It's pretty much just an EXE, which is a, like a patch. Obviously, you're going to want to install this patch after the game. So, just choose Halo PC or CE, depending, whether it's just the base game or custom edition. You can also download the dedicated server files if you want to run a server. Although, in this video, I will only be covering the, uh, you know, the game. So, once you download that, just install it. It's really straightforward. It might ask you for where your Halo installation is. So, you know, you, you should know where that is. If you don't, then it's probably default to, like, program files. Might be under Microsoft Games, then Halo. You know, just, uh... You just poke around your program files, and you, you will probably find it if you don't know where it is. Or, if you still can't find it, and you have a shortcut on your desktop, just right-click it, hit Properties, then go to Details. Is it Deet? Oh no. No, never mind. Go to Shortcut and then hit Open File Location. You see, mine just defaulted to Program Files, Halo Combat Evolved, so it'll probably be there. Because for some reason I didn't change it. But I usually do. I put it on like just C slash games, not Program Files. You know. So yeah. That's it for getting the multiplayer working again. For getting, uh, getting the game working in modern resolutions, it's actually really easy. But first, before I tell you, I'm gonna tell you this. Before you do any of this, with not with installing the patch, but with getting the resolution working and the FOV, go into your game and like set up your key bindings and all that. Because if you don't, when you go to save your key bindings, if you go to change them, then it'll reset the resolution and then you'll have to redo the stuff for the resolution. So you don't want to have to be redoing that every time you load up the game. So just before you do this, load up the game, go through your controls and all that. You know, make sure also with graphics options. You're gonna wanna make sure to uh set all of those. When you're setting those though, resolution you set doesn't matter because it's going to be overridden anyways. So with getting resolution, just go to your shortcut. Also, you can't just run it from the EXE and have the like the base EXE of the game and have the resolution work. You have to do it with a shortcut. So go to properties, go to shortcut, and then you see with target, it has like quotation marks and all this. After the quotation marks, hit space dash vid mode space 1920 comma 1080 comma 60 obviously if you want to run in a different resolution you change 1920 and 1080 is something different such as like 1280 720 or you know whatever just you know and then 60 that's for 60 hertz as far as I know the game does not support higher than 60 hertz so don't don't try putting it higher just put it at 60 I mean, I guess you could try it, but I can't guarantee you that it will work properly. So, you know. That's it. That's all you do to get it running in 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720. That's what you want. Now, for 
the FOV, there's another file that you're going to want to download. There's a, I'll put this link in there as well. Uh, if you download it, there's a zip file in there. I believe it's a zip file. Let me just recheck. I probably should check this before, but you know. Oh yeah, so you're going to want, when you open the zip file, there's going to be this. You're going to want to choose Halo 3rd FOV.exe, not Halo FOV. Uh, although if Halo 3rd FOV doesn't work for you, then choose Halo FOV. It seems like, if I remember correctly, these two are just there. Like, if one doesn't work, try the other. Uh, for me, it was Halo 3rd FOV that worked. So we just load that up, and... your, uh, like the bar down here lets you choose your FOV, it default is 70, I like playing at 100 it gives you it in degree in radians, I don't know why it gives you it in radians you know, uh, you're also gonna want to set a key binding for enabling and disabling it uh, so like once you're in game and here it's set to asterisk so once I load up the game and I have this running, when I hit asterisk, it will enable the 100 FOV. And there's another key binding for disabling it. And also it defaults to using plus and minus to increase and decrease the FOV while you're in the game. Now, this program also features uh, a third person view. Personally, I don't use this, but, uh, you know, you can use it if you want. There's different settings where you can be, it can be like to the left or the right. You can move it up or down. You know, if you want to use the third person camera, just mess around with that. I don't use it at all. I just leave it completely off. I only deal with the FOV part with this program. And as you see up here, it does work for just Halo PC and CE Custom Edition, where all the custom game modes and maps will be. Personally, I just play Halo PC, you know, because I find on Halo CE it's actually hard to find servers that just run the vanilla game, you know, with the without custom weapons and all that. If you just want like a default Halo experience, which I tend to enjoy, although you don't get custom maps, which is a shame, but the servers that you'll find will actually be the game and it won't it won't be those mods that try to add like Halo 2 weapons and all that so yeah that's why I prefer Halo PC over CE although it's personal preference really if you like messing around with the custom vehicles custom weapons and all that which you know I I would like it if it wasn't that every single server had them and there's the option to play the vanilla game you know yeah so that's how to get your FOV changed in the game so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy playing Halo 1 on PC in 16x9 or 16x10 or whatever resolution you wanted at 60 Hertz online 2016 because the servers were shut down before. And now I'm just rambling. So yeah, I'm just going to end it here.